Well, this is uh, Dwight Eisenhower's jacket that he used uh, when he was a two-star general in uh, World War II. And one of the questions we get most often from folks who come through our exhibit is, wow, I always thought Eisenhower was, was taller. Well, that's because of this unique design, which was Eisenhower's own design, this short-waisted jacket. It may have made uh, the wearer of the jacket look smaller than he really was. Uh, you know, people are used to jackets hanging down below your waist. This ended above the waist. Uh, so Eisenhower at, at 5'10", you, you look at this jacket and it does. I'm 5'7", and it looks like I would fit into this, but I'm not going to try to fit into it. I think our curators would have a fit if I did that. But this was on a gentleman, who Eisenhower, who was 5'10". Well, he was, I don't know if he was a slight man, but he was trim. Uh, he was not overweight. Uh, obviously, had a lot going on uh, during the war, uh, but it began, some of it I think is because the jacket is this, it's not like a blazer which would hang down, making him look taller, it's this short-waisted Eisenhower jacket. Uh, we also have here his swagger stick, something everyone should carry these days. This was an affectation that they adopted from the British. Uh, uh, General Montgomery and some of the British generals carried a swagger stick, a baton, I don't think they hit anybody with it, but they just walked around with it, hit in their hand or tucked under their arm here, and gave them a look of authority. And Eisenhower adopted that as well over there for a while to, to carry around a swagger stick.